to Story Saturday Writing Prompt. My name is Lisa M. Cowan, and as you can see, I'm in the middle of nature with the sunshine on one side and my kitty cat in the back. And I think there's some, uh, I think there's some uh, construction or somebody's building something next to me, which just started happening about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> So that's life. That's life, my friends. And I'm glad that you've decided to join me for the Story Saturday writing prompt. And I'm really, really excited about this specific one because this is something that I absolutely love. And it's called Flash Fiction. For any of you who haven't, uh, who haven't done this before or don't know what the concept is, Basically, it's writing a one or two paragraph story that has a beginning, middle, and an end. So it's a very, very short story. So it's known for its brevity. It's known for its element of surprise and also um, uh, being in the moment of, of the story and not switching to different moments because it's actually, um, I mean, you could try that but uh, it, it tends to work better if you stay in the moment of the story. So I have a couple of, I actually have three suggestions for titles, for story titles, but obviously you can make up whatever you like for flash fiction. Oh, another thing that, um, another thing that uh, flash fiction is known for is its strong imagery and also its element of surprise. Um, and again, these are just suggestions, um, but if you want to work with those things within the framework of flash fiction, I'm sure you will really, really enjoy yourself. Now this, uh, here, the first title is For Sale, Pair of Baby Shoes Not Worn. For Sale, Pair of Baby Shoes Not Worn. The second one is Return of the Tasmanian Tiger. Return of the Tasmanian Tiger. And then the third one is Man Wakes from Coma After 20 Years. Man Wakes from Coma After 20 Years. And I just realized that I forgot to, I usually do a, a very short meditation or grounding exercise before I jump into the, uh, to the uh, writing prompt and I didn't do that. And I think it was because I was just so excited about <laughs> about the fact that we were doing flash, fi flash fiction. Oh my God, it's flash fiction time. So um, so typically what we do is it's just five minutes and we have, um, I'll let you know when, when uh, you know, a couple minutes is up and then when 30 seconds is up so you can hurry up and uh, finish your story. And this is different than my other writing prompts in that this is this is supposed to be a complete story. So, so um, now that I've gotten through all of that, <coughs> excuse me, with the writing prompt, <coughs> let's just take um, a couple of moments here to arrive in the place where we are whether that's uh, at your kitchen table, in your bedroom, outside in the backyard, like I am. Just taking a couple of breaths here, just to feel, <clears throat> feel our body, feel our breath coming into our lungs, Nice exhale, good. Inhale and exhale. Nice. Now we're going to start the flash fiction writing prompt. And so all you need is a notebook and a pen and a reasonably quiet spot and I'm just going to turn the timer on so we have five minutes enjoy 
trickety. Okay. Let's see. Your baby shoes not worn. 